Hey, what's going on, dudes? My name is Staxes Gaming, and today I felt the need, as a Montreal fan, to address the the current rumors I currently going on over the internet and just just everywhere. I mean, they had it on Sportsnet also that uh, Bergeron is ready to to start selling. He's ready to start making some trades here. He also named off uh, four players that, that that he will not be trading, which is going to be Shea Weber, Carey Price. Victor Mete and more than likely Jonathan Drew. I, I see Jonathan Drew in staying, of course. There's no, there's no reason why Montreal would trade for Drew and then trade him off again. That would be absolutely ridiculous. Even though Montreal is sort of known for trading for some of their players back and whatnot. But uh, right, right now I just have a, an offline shootout mode that I'm going to be doing. This commentary over. So if I start to do terrible, don't mind the, the gameplay. It's not about the gameplay, it's just going to be more about the, what we're going to be talking about here. Without delay, we go right to the shootout. I apologize, I'm just going to quickly change the commentary settings. That's way too loud. Actually, I don't want the commentary on at all. Or just one, maybe. We'll just keep it at one. We'll have. All right, so currently one of the bigger names out there for Montreal happens to actually be the captain, the captain himself, Max Pacioretty. And although he has stated that he doesn't want to be traded, I think there's a really high chance that he might get traded just because of his value and like, the only way he does get traded though, boys, is if we get something very good in exchange. Oh, that was terrible. He just kind of like rammed into the side of the, the goal there. If I would have released that a little bit quicker, yeah, back to the net. So yeah, Max Petrietti stated that he does not want to be traded. I'd imagine that Montreal is hockey heaven in my opinion. So, Another one of the names that might be on the list is Alex Galchenyuk, and he's he's been kind of been subject to trade rumors for quite a while now, to be honest. And despite his uh, trade value being very low, I feel like possibly he can also be traded too. But well, Nashville's just really taking it to us. And being a winger in all two, the... Alex Galchenyuk. So Alex Galchenyuk is being subject to trade rumors also. Yo, I'm terrible at shoot -off. And the teams that I think I'm going to be are going to be looking at. Uh, the contracts of Max Pacioretty and the contracts of, or the contract of uh, Alex Galchenyuk also. One of them is going to be being Nashville right here. Currently, the Nashville Predators have stated that they are looking for a top six forward, a top six winger in general, someone who could play on the wing. And being doing so, that that will solidify, I guess. Their. I'm just going to do rematch. That will kind of solidify their line. I mean, they, they did make it to the finals in the previous year. And to be honest, if Max Pacioretty was added to that lineup, could you imagine? Like, this is a 30 goal score. And with the relief of not having to hold the C on his chest, there's a big chance he goes to Nashville. And there's that wrister. That deadly wrister that Max Pacioretty is so that, is, that he has been gifted with. Beautiful goal. So I'm not too excited about the news. Of people like, of players like Max Pacioretty, Alex Galchenyuk, and even possibly Brendan Gallagher being on the, the, the list to be possibly traded. Although at the same time, I do, I do think that Gallagher won't get traded. 
He is kind of the heart of the Montreal Canadiens at the moment. Yeah, so, so like I said, he is basically the heart of the Montreal Canadiens at the moment. And if you're a Montreal fan, you'll, you'll know that he's one of those types of players that like, gives it his all game after game, shift after shift. And with the contract he has, I'm pretty sure he's only making three million or something like that to be a top six forward. And that contract goes on for another couple of years here, which makes it a, a little less likely for for him to get, also get traded. What a save. Okay, so we're just gonna name off the top the top five teams that could be interested in Max Pacioretty or Alex Galchenik for that matter. They're both left wingers. And all these teams currently are looking for I don't know how that went in, but that it just did. So team number five is the Minnesota Wild. I'm gonna turn this down quickly. Okay, so currently one of the five teams that are currently interested in Max Pacioretty happens to be the Minnesota Wild. They're a contender who's seen their Stanley Cup window slam shut. On top of that, general manager Chuck Fletcher doesn't have a contract after this season. So don't be surprised if the Wild at least inquire about Pacioretty. So, I mean, the Minnesota Wild, Wild it doesn't seem that like they're a Stanley Cup contender this year. Obviously, adding a player like Max Pacioretty will turn them into that. I mean, considering he's a he's a 30 goal scorer. Yeah, of course, Max Pacioretty is going to go on fire no matter which which team he goes to play for, except for the Montreal Canadiens. It seems like just because he he has to he has the burden of wearing that captaincy. So currently, Minnesota ranks 18th in the league in even strength scoring with 2.38 goals per hour. Patriotti's 10 even strength goals on the 6th least productive goal scoring team at even strength is more than every wild four not named Eric Stahl. That's pretty insane. So even though Max Patriotti is a part of a team that can't score, he seems to be have better scoring potential than most players on the Minnesota Wild. So Minnesota has a ton of fascinating prospects. No matter what the Canadians want for Max Pacioretty, the Wild can offer them a very competitive package. While they don't have as much as far as goalie prospects, that's the one area they have they're pretty well set in. So they pretty much only got basically goalie prospects to offer. So it's a little less likely that Minnesota makes them, or the Canadians make the move with the Minnesota Wild. Okay, so the next team looking at Max Pacioretty and possibly Alex Kupchenik is the Pittsburgh Penguins themselves, the, the two-time Stanley Cup champions. Now, adding Max Pacioretty to a, a team that's won the Stanley Cup two times in a row, that's going to that's gonna create a really, really big... That's going to create a really, really dynamic team. A team that can possibly do a three-feet for sure. Up and over the shoulder, beautiful mechanic. So much like the Wild, the Pittsburgh Penguins are in win-now mode. General Manager Jim Ruthford isn't resting on the team's two consecutive Stanley Cups either. The Penguins have been very aggressive on the trade market since June of 2015. During that time, they've acquired such players as Phil Kessel, Carl Hagelin, Trevor Daly, and Justin Schultz. Each of them played significant roles in winning at least one Stanley Cup. The Penguins are struggling to score, so adding a player like Pacioretty obviously is gonna is gonna help that scoring woe that they seem to be on at the moment. As only the Buffalo Sabres have scored fewer even strength goals than them, Pittsburgh is struggling to get depth scoring. But Pacioretty's 10 even strength goal will be tied for fourth among Penguins forwards. So Pacioretty would fit right in with the, the uh, Pittsburgh Penguins here. Of course, Patrick doesn't want to get traded, but if he gets traded to a, a Stanley Cup contender like, like Pittsburgh, I think his 
anxiety to leave Montreal will kind of be diminished. So that's that. The next stop. Uh, destination would be the Columbus Blue Jackets. So what it says here, the Columbus Blue Jackets need some offensive help. Why not add one of the NHL's premier goal scorers? The Stanley Cup window is wide open and unlike most contenders, the Blue Jackets have a ton of cap space. Of course, I mean, the, the Blue Jackets are filled with like so many young prospects. It's ridiculous. I keep going for the same shot on the lot. It's ridiculous. Be honest, so they could definitely take on the the cap space of Max that Max Patry does offer, and Max Patry actually isn't even, even getting paid that much. He's getting paid like a little less than five million to be a thirty goal scorer per year. So that I guess that kind of actually thinking about that, that makes it a little less likely for Patry to be traded. I mean. But you never know. I mean, P.K. Subban got traded. You never know. So, as built, Columbus has a pretty good defense. Seth Jones and Zach Wierenski are an excellent top pair, and they've got a number of youngsters there as well. And of course, his reigning Vezina Trophy winner is Sergei Borowski. But the offense doesn't match the defense. Patrick would help that injustice cease to exist. Of course. So each of these teams, it seems like, that are interested in Max Patch Ready are having a trouble are having a little bit of a hard time. Yeah he doesn't have very good hands. A little hard time scoring. So Max Patch Ready, if he's going anywhere, it's going to he's gonna be going to a team that really needs him, that really needs the goal scoring, and so forth. So the second team that is interested in Max Patch Ready at the moment happens to be the Carolina Hurricanes at the moment. So the Carolina Hurricanes need to add scoring. It's something they've struggled with for a while. The injury to Sebastian Ojo makes it even more necessary. Yes, the Hurricanes still need a franchise center, but number one centers rarely become available and drafting one is really hard. So why not add a proven elite goal scoring talent? At some point, the Hurricanes have to invest in their team. This year is a pretty good year to do it, there's no clear favorite to win the Metropolitan Division. There's a difference between. So, try to get this. Nope. So, there's no clear favorite to win the Metropolitan Division. The difference between the first place team and the seventh place team will likely wind up being very, pretty minuscule. And the Hurricanes have been on the wrong side far too often. It's time they end up on the right side. So, that's what it says about the Carolina Hurricanes. Uh, I feel it's very unlikely that Max Patch Ready goes to the Hurricanes unless it's for a decent young prospect, of course. And I'm thinking like forwards, possibly a defenseman, although we do have Victor Mete at the moment, so it's not like we're searching for defensemen or a growing defenseman in that case. Okay, so the top team for the Montreal Canadiens to trade Max Patch Ready to is mo most surprisingly the Nashville Predators. So what it says here is, if the Canadians are shopping Max Patch Ready, you can bet the Nashville Predators are calling. After all, they've had pretty good success recently with former Habs player P.K. Subban, who is thriving, and Alexi Yemen has been surprisingly competent while replacing Ryan Ellis. Why not re reunite one of hockey's favorite romances in Nashville? The Predators could use some wing depth. They're in pretty good shape, but the Preds are looking to win sooner rather than later. With Ella and Robo and you will see each schedule to become free agents soon. Now, this now is their best time to win. Max Patch ready. Makes them a better team for the next full season. And however long he'd be with them this season. So, I'm not surprised that Nashville is interested in, in the, the goal scorer Max Patch ready. And of course, like it, like it stated here, he did play with P.K. Subban, so they do already have that chemistry. Now, a move like this would be absolutely insane. Like, absolutely insane. If Max Petri goes to the Nashville Predators, it's just... I mean, in my opinion, it makes more sense that he goes to the Nashville Predators rather than going to 
any of the other teams I have stated, but you never know. It all depends on what we're getting back and so forth, all that kind of stuff like that. But yeah, so this has been a, just a short video I wanted to create about the rumors of Max Pacioretty, Alex Galchenyuk, and even possibly like Brendan Gallagher. Just big names like that who are on the trade block. Currently in Montreal, and being a Montreal fan, I felt like it, it was a good time to create this video, get it uploaded, and so forth. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to comment your suggestions on what you think, or who you think will get traded from Montreal, and who you think will be get, getting back, or maybe even just comment your, like your fantasy trades before the upcoming trade deadline. But yeah, if you enjoyed, don't forget to leave some love. This has been Stax's Gaming. Peace out.